are looking at Lewis's Mock Orange, which happens to be the state flower of Idaho. It was named in honor of Captain Meriwether Lewis, who documented the plant on his trip in 1806. In my personal opinion, they should have named it Meriwether's Mock Orange to have some nice alliteration. No one asked me. It's a deciduous shrub. It grows three to ten feet tall. It's in the hydrangea family. The stems are erect. They kind of grow in this vase-like shape. <laughs> the, the bark is kind of a reddish brown color when it's young and with age it turns gray and flakes off, kind of like hair. The leaves grow opposite one another, they're ovate in shape, which is a fancy botanical way of saying that they're kind of oval, they have a point. It has three major veins that you can see that run from the base of the leaf to the tip and they're mostly smooth on the margins, but the younger leaves have some teeth. The flowers grow in these showy white clusters at the ends of branches of about like 3 to 15 flowers in a bunch. They're white, they have four petals, and they have bright yellow stamens. And they both smell and kind of look like citrus flowers, which is why it's called mock orange. The plant is eaten by deer and elk when they're foraging, and the seeds are enjoyed by quail and squirrels. Uh, the Lummi people in this area would use the wood to make combs or netting shuttles when they were weaving fish nets. And in more recent times, they used the wood to fashion knitting needles. Both the leaves and the flowers are high in saponins, so it was worked into a lather and used as soap uh, for either bathing your skin or your hair. So we are going to test out this lather thing that happens with both the leaves and the flowers. A bunch of flowers and another leaf. All right, we'll see if it suds up. That makes a nice lather. Mock orange. Nature's Pantene Pro V.